we've been playing, you know, Blue Goose Blues for, you know, years. And I said, what, what is a blue, what does that mean, Blue Goose Blues? And he goes, oh, it's not there. It's just a little neighborhood and uh, had a barber shop and a, a cafe and, you know, it wasn't much of nothing. And that's, again, the way Jesse was. He always downplayed everything, you know. Um, but uh, it's it just... A phenomenal how the, the the wonderful music that was played in these little joints they were just joints they weren't you know what you would even call a club you know but um, people would go in on Friday and Saturday night and that's where they they you could hear them the music coming out of the, the rafters and most of the none of the places had air conditioning so they had their doors open and their windows open and you could just hear it all up and down the street and so it was interesting I really enjoyed that I can I remember the music it was jumping too we had about seven, eight uh, hockey talks out. <laughs> we had oh, there's a lot of people around here at that time. My great grandmother used to have cars lined up all down the street, all on the railroad tracks, all the, down Pickett, parked at the park, walking to come into this juke joint. So I mean, man. It was wonderful, man. I know my mother's, my mother's uh, uncles, Amy's, all of them used to go to Blue Goose and party and enjoy. It's on the corner of, of uh, Snow Street and Pickett. And right across the railroad tracks. When I was a kid, I used to play, play by a club. It, it, was, it, it changed the name to Sweetest Place, Old Sweetest. And around the corner was uh, Ebony Club, and on the other corner was Boots and Salad. Ebony Club, what I had the real, real Baker Street Ebony Club, and um, Ten Shed. I had about 11, 12 clubs in the neighborhood. Oh, they'll tell me, Miss, you remember me when you used to put me out the club? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they try to sneak in, you know. <laughs> sneak in, and you know, when you're too young, you can't come in the club. Uh -huh. But they'll try to sneak in anyway. <laughs> but I'll put them out. Then, see, it was another club not too far from there called the Rooftop. Everybody played on the Rooftop. Came to Sweetport that was big in that, back in those days. From jazz, blues, rock and roll. Is on top of the roof on Texas Street. And everybody that knew about Crosstown or had the, the, the heart <laughs> to come across town came. What makes that Blue Goose area such a natural place for these uh, street rustlers to be at uh, is that there was a train station there. And, uh, and the neighborhoods back in those days were a mixture of you know, Anglo-Saxon, Italian, African-American, and everybody was down around there working at this train station, and you'd have lots of people coming in and lots of people going out through that train station, but you also had a lot of guys hopping freights. We call them passenger trains. That's where uh, a bunch of people get on the train. Call them passenger trains. No more. It's nothing over there now. I lived in that area when I was young. Music is the basis for everything because there's a rhythm that will soothe any feeling when you're mad, when you're happy, depressed, feeling down and out. 
music unites people with happiness and pain. And we need to get back to the music.